Having posted the first two parts of the tutorial on how to use VASA 40K, I've already received a couple questions, so I figured I'd go ahead and answer them. The first one is, how do you go about actually changing your name when once you're in VASA 40K? The answer is to use the option under File, Edit Preferences. This window will come up, your Preferences. Click on Personal next to your, the name there's a text box and go ahead and type in whatever you want I'm Dermy Calm um, in Vassal 40k as well so if you guys have questions feel free to you know ask away hopefully there's no one else posing as me if so I apologize if it's rude it wasn't me um, next thing the, the next question that I was asked is exactly how do you go about joining a game if you're the person who is joining a game that someone else had set up from the part two of the video. Well, you would click on the option to find an online game. And again, this all pops up. If you're not connected to the Vassal server, the first thing you want to do is click on this third button, which is show hide the server controls. If this part isn't open, once this is open, the first button above Active Games is Connect. You'll click there, and it'll connect you to the Vassal server. Once you've connected, you'll be into the main room. You'll find the room that your opponent has already set up. You'll double-click into that room, and now you've entered that room. That alone does not give you the map or any other piece of the game. What you'll need to do is find the person who is actually running the game, right click on their name, and click on Synchronize. Once you've clicked on Synchronize, their information, everything that is going on with the game will be sent to you. And then you'll be able to open up the map and see the game already in progress. Or if you're joining the game, you'll be able to then add all your pieces to your deployment area then add them to the map and start the game that this will be the conclusion of part three of how to utilize vassal 40k